This video contains spoilers for Danganronpa V3. Maki and Chirichi are my favorite characters in V3, but I feel like Maki's relationships and development are intentionally forced, and I feel like Maki points this out when she asks Chirichi if he was really able to fall for Kaede in such short time. This question shows that she doesn't feel like her development or feelings are natural, and she doesn't feel like, like Chirichi's feelings were natural either. She feels like both of these were forced. The question challenges the fans' expectations for ships and points out that they aren't very realistic and that it's really hard to actually build a character's relationship with others over such short time when they just met. And you can really see this when one of the stronger relationships where the person's really affected by losing them is Fuhiko with Peko. And you can see that it really hurt because he knew her for a long time and they were already really close before the game. And I don't think there's really a capacity where they can easily replicate these things when these characters don't know each other and it's a lot harder. And with other relationships, there's a, another reason why they're so strong, like Hiyoko being dependent on Mahiru, or Kiyotaka struggling to make friends in general making Mondo more special to him. With Shirichi and Kaede, what's particularly suspicious about it is that it feels like they only got so close because they woke up in the same room. And if Kaede really was like trying to help somebody who needed the most help, Ryoma would easily take precedence. He's in a much worse state, and I feel like the fans of, of the ship between Kaede and Shirichi really overplay Shirichi's mental condition and act like his in a much worse state than he is, especially with the depiction of him as an emo, which isn't fair to his character. Maki notices this, and it causes her to question her crush on Kaito, and that's why she feels like it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, and it's understandable that she wouldn't feel like the way he changed her makes a lot of sense, because the truth is, Kaito's really insensitive and tone deaf, and he can be really unhelpful in ways, and it's not very likely that the way he approaches them would help them. In fact, a lot of the time he can sound like one of those people just giving those one answer fits all to people's really serious conditions. And it's not because Kaito is a bad person, he's just like not really good at reading people or understanding people's feelings. And whilst it does work out for them, it's really questionable as to how it does because it's actually he says all these things that people actually hate hearing in real life. Like when somebody's talking about how I'm so depressed or whatnot, and people just say, Hey, hey, stop being that, Ray. That's essentially how he is. Of course, people wouldn't just say, I'm so depressed. But it's still... The point is, he doesn't really actually say helpful things. And it manages to work, but it's actually meant to be something we crash in. And it's ironic, because when we see Ikekichi talking to Himiko, he actually helps her by encouraging her to be real with herself. And like, actually stop trying to fake her feelings or ignore them. And it's ironic that, like... The things he's saying actually have more insight there. It's pretty funny actually, and you wouldn't expect it, but the truth is, Kaito's actually, like, well, he's clearly not a therapist, and he clearly wouldn't actually be helpful to those people, and if you were to actually hear those things in real life, you'd probably be really mad at him. Maki, like, acknowledges this, and She's definitely questioning how she has feelings towards someone like that. And it's definitely questionable because he's not actually saying things that really help people. 
it's kind of like she's changing on her own, but like she realizes that it's like her feelings are being tampered with. Now, as Katya's words may actually help some people in some cases, Sumigi points out that Maki's change was actually, in fact, forced, and I believe Kodaka was trying to make a point here, but our character development in ships and how we'd love to see them, but it's not feasible for them to be well developed over the short amount of time Dengen Wampa takes place. And you'll actually see an ultimate talent development plan and an ultimate summer camp that like it actually gives them a lot more room to develop naturally and it makes more sense in that context which is actually why I hope for one that takes place after they finish high school and it would be nice to see how they change and you actually do see at the end of some of the ultimate summer camp routes that some characters changed a lot I hope that you actually check that out eventually but uh, it's up to you thanks for watching I know I took a really long time between this video and the Zuru one, and I still have planned one about Celeste from Danganronpa 1 and one about Morgana from Persona 5. And in the meantime, I'd really love to hear some feedback from you guys and what you liked or didn't like about the video. And also, I'd like to hear recommendations for other videos you'd like to see from me. And uh, I hope you have a great day.